Hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, is a common and serious medical condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It occurs when the force of blood against the walls of the arteries is too high, putting extra strain on the heart and blood vessels. Over time, this can cause damage to the heart, blood vessels, and other organs. While hypertension can go unnoticed without any symptoms still, it is a major risk factor for heart disease, stroke, and other health problems. Causes of hypertension There are two types of hypertension, primary hypertension and secondary hypertension. Primary hypertension, which accounts for the majority of hypertension cases, is often referred to as essential hypertension, and the exact cause of it is not known most of the time, but it tends to be a combination of genetics, age, and lifestyle factors. Research has shown that there is a hereditary component to hypertension, meaning that it can run in families. If your parents or other close relatives have hypertension, you may be at increased risk of developing the condition yourself. Also, as we age, our risk of developing hypertension increases. This is due in part to the natural aging process, which can cause our arteries to become less flexible and more rigid, leading to increased blood pressure. Finally, we have lifestyle factors. A diet that is high in sodium, physical inactivity, tobacco use, and alcohol consumption can all contribute to the development of primary hypertension. Secondary hypertension, on the other hand, is caused by an underlying medical condition, such as kidney problems, endocrine disorders, sleep apnea, or certain medications. Symptoms of hypertension Hypertension is often referred to as the silent killer because it can be asymptomatic, meaning that many people with hypertension may not experience any symptoms at all. However, in some cases, hypertension can cause noticeable symptoms that indicate high blood pressure. Some of the common symptoms of hypertension may include headaches, fatigue, shortness of breath, and dizziness. Some patients may experience chest pain and vision problems. Diagnosis of hypertension Hypertension is diagnosed through a simple blood pressure reading. This test measures the force of blood against the walls of the arteries and is expressed in two numbers, systolic pressure, the top number, and diastolic pressure, the bottom number. A normal blood pressure reading is considered to be less than 120 over 80. If a person's blood pressure reading is consistently between 120 to 129 over less than 80, they are considered to have elevated blood pressure. This is a warning sign that their blood pressure is higher than normal and that they are at increased risk of developing hypertension. If a person's blood pressure reading is consistently between 130 to 139 over 80 to 89, they are considered to have stage 1 hypertension. At this stage, lifestyle changes such as diet modifications, exercise, and stress reduction techniques are often recommended, and medication may also be prescribed in some cases. If a person's blood pressure reading is consistently 140 over 90 or higher, they are considered to have stage 2 hypertension. At this stage, medication is usually prescribed in addition to lifestyle changes. In addition to blood pressure readings, you doctor may also perform a physical exam and order additional tests to determine if an underlying medical condition is causing hypertension. These tests may include blood tests to check for kidney function, cholesterol levels, and blood sugar levels. Urine tests to check for protein or blood in the urine, which may indicate kidney problems. Electrocardiogram, ECG or EKG, to check for irregular heart rhythms or other heart problems. And finally, echocardiogram to evaluate the structure and function of the heart. Treatment for hypertension. The treatment for hypertension often involves lifestyle changes such as exercise, weight loss, and a healthy diet, as well as medication. Medications for hypertension may include diuretics, beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, calcium channel blockers, and others. The goal of treatment is to lower and control blood pressure to reduce the risk of complications such as heart attack, stroke, and kidney disease. 
Regular blood pressure monitoring and follow-up with your doctor are very important to ensure that the treatment is effective and adjusted as needed.